Uh, give us a sense of where the business schools in America are today and how have they changed over the last 10 years? Uh, thanks, David. No, total team effort for Tuck, as always. Uh, look, the demand what we see, Tuck, the, the interest in business education remains quite high. You know, this past cycle, our applications were up 11 percent. Last school year, they were up almost 10 percent, even amidst the turmoil of the pandemic. And I think what we hear from business organizations is they are seeking, as they have for quite some time, individuals who can harness information um, to articulate and defend points of view and environments of disruptive ambiguity and really motivate high-performing teams to bring those visions to life. Um, what's changed, I think, uh, is actually, I think, both the organizations that hire students and the students themselves, they recognize the complexity of our world in the 21st century. Yes, you need analytical skills and functional expertise in, in finance and accountancy, and yet that probably was never sufficient, but it's definitely not sufficient in our complex world of the 21st century. I think the interconnected issues around wealth and health and sustainability Organizations and students alike are seeking developing those integrative skills that are going to allow them to navigate through what I think rightly is increasingly called uh, uh, not just shareholder but stakeholder capitalism. Uh, so, Dean Stiller, I want to unpack a little bit what you do while they're in business school and then where they go afterwards. But before we get to that, just give me a little bit of the numbers. Uh, where are applications for business schools, and particularly for, for T the Tuck School of Business? Where are you? Are they up, you're down? Where are you compared to history? Yeah, so compared to history, you know, a lot of business schools, there's always some cyclicality. So applications are slightly counter cyclical with the strength of the labor market. Economists may all say that's because of the opportunity cost varying through time of leaving the labor market to earn a degree of any kind. Um, many schools go back a few years, saw a drop in demand actually that came a lot from international students that had a lot to do with rising supply side competition in the rest of the world as good business schools come online more in the rest of the world. Uh, but we had talked in the past two years, have seen strong growth in applications. They were up again over 11% this past cycle, 10, almost 10% the previous cycle. Part of what we're also seeing is an increased breadth in interest. I think if you go back to an earlier period, the MBA degree was thought to be sort of a finishing degree for people who had already been in certain firms or certain occupations in capital markets and in consulting. Um, but we see an increased breadth in recent years among the uh, prospective applicants for what they were doing in their post-college years before thinking about an MBA. So the class of our first year class at Tuck now is a little under 300 students, 294 students. They came from 227 distinct employers in what they were doing before coming here to the Tuck School. So I think a recognition of the enduring value of an MBA, the communication skills, the analytical thinking, the self-awareness that are at the heart of management leadership in our world today, I think the breadth of interest that we see continues to grow.